made that quite clear. He really irritates me. I don't know why. He just, I think it's because he thinks he is the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. I think he irritates you because, truthfully, deep down, McMahon, you wish you could dance and dress like that. Give that, me a break. That's what I think it is. And his opponent, from Monmouth, Kentucky, playing 286 pounds, Billy Jim! Billy Jim! One of the huge favorites in the World Wrestling Federation! What an opportunity he has here in this non-title matcha. Because a victory here for Hillbilly Jim will put him right in condition for the title. Oh, definitely it will. McMahon, do I understand it? I heard a rumor that Hillbilly's now the mayor of Mudlick. No, I don't think so. I heard he got the majority vote five to four. Five to four? Only nine people live there, I heard. Come on, Jeff. Hello, Hello, Hillbilly. And that's counting two dogs. I don't know about how many people live in Mudlick, but Hillbilly has a sizable farm, so I'm told. <laughs> it's, uh, hogs and what have you. That man, look at the grease just dripping off of that hair. And that little pumpy do or whatever it is that he has on the front of his head there. Brutus the Barber is going to get to that. You're just totally jealous of Honky Tonk, McMahon. I don't think so. The success he's had, like I said, what this, what Honky Tonk lacks in ability, he makes up for it. The man is lucky. By the way, just next week, Hulkamania will be running wild. The Hulkster set to square off an individual competition against Boris Zukov. Well, that's interesting because I really figured when Hulk didn't regain his title, I figured for once and for all we had seen the last of him. Give me a break. Hulkamania running wilder than ever, and I think next week the Hulkster will prove just that. Double Jim, he is a big mountain man. You know, McMahon, recently in this issues of the World Wrestling Federation magazine, there's a tremendous story on the butchery that took place to the mouth of the South Jimmy Hart at the hands of Brutus Beefcake. Butchering? Yeah, that haircut. Yeah. Horrible haircut. You mean one like the hunky dog man's gonna get? I don't think he'll get it. I don't think Beefcake's man enough to do it to Honky. Whoa, this could do it right there. That mountain man, Bear Hart. Honky trying to pound his way out. Hillbilly's not letting up a bit. Hillbilly ramming into the Honky Talk Man. Here he comes again. Whoa. Aha. Oh, wait, he's pulling the back of the tights. He was pulling the tights. So what? Nobody's seen it but you. Wait a minute. I told you he was lucky, McMahon. The Intercontinental Champion wins it again. The Intercontinental Champion, the Husky Back to the replay. You watch this. Let's watch it. Here you see Hillbilly charging in. Honky moves out of the way. Hillbilly goes down. Honky cradles him. Look, 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 your right hand. Look at that. He's pulling up on his tights as hard as he can on his overall. Well, if Hillbilly's so stupid to wear straps in the ring, more power to Honky for using them. Look out. Here comes Hillbilly Jim after the Honky Talk Man. Let's take you down to the 